Hello again everyone and welcome to the back garden yard. This is the video you have all wanted to see. All this hard work I've been doing, will it pay off in a successful harvest? Well today we're going after tomatoes, we're going after bell peppers, we're going after Korean peppers, we're going after squash, we're going after corn, green beans, lima beans. Well, you get the picture. We're going to make a harvest today. And uh, it's kind of amazing. So stay tuned here. And uh, I'll have to divide this video into two parts because it's so long. So this is part one, and I hope you enjoy it. So I'm starting the harvest today with the Asian eggplants. These are the long ones you see in uh, some markets. And these are not uh, as big as they'll get, but I've got to get them off. And the reason I've got to get them off is if you notice, and the GoPro sometimes doesn't focus a close up, but if you notice that little bug that just crawled to the back, the little black bugs right on the edge of the leaves that are crawling around, and you can see all these holes it looked like somebody took a pen or a pencil and just poked in there. That's what these things do. And so I've got to pick all the, I have to pick all the eggplants that are out here. And then I'm going to put seven dust on the entire plant and see if I can eliminate these bugs. Because they'll literally chew up the leaves so bad that they'll quit producing. There's one right there. Let's see if you can see that. There's another one you can see fairly easily right in the middle of that leaf. So all these plants are infested with these bugs. And I've got to get rid of them. And the only way I really know to do that is to take seven. Because otherwise they can fly. And I just got to douse them with some seven. They'll fly back in. And they will uh, get killed. And the plants will do well. As you can see, there's another one. So anyway, let's pick these. Let's pick these. And of course, these are good eating size. They will get bigger. You don't want to let them grow until they get seeds in them, like a regular eggplant. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pick these and uh, we'll go uh, look at these plants once I've got the uh, seven on them. So many of you have watched the video on the July garden where I have planted this garden. Uh, for These are zucchini plants and these are squash plants. And then these are cucumber plants and they are under attack. Um, this one here has just about been decimated and so I was checking it out trying to figure out if it's slugs or what it is and if you look right down there at that striped bug you can see that's a real cucumber beetle and he's just chewing it up they've already wiped this out they wiped out the top so uh, I think I lost this plant. Uh, this one has got damage on the bottom. And so uh, it, it's growing on up pretty fast, but uh, I've got to treat these with seven and see if I can save them. Uh, and that is the problem with a July garden and of course with the regular cucumber plants. Also, those over there are my second planting and they're still doing very, very well. Um, I'll be picking some more cucumbers off of those. Over there are the original cucumbers, <coughs> and they're still bearing. Uh, they're going to need some work, some more tying up and all this, but uh, the, I'm sure they've got the bugs, so I may treat them with the um, dish detergent mixture where you just spray dish detergent, and hopefully you can literally drown the bugs off of them. But that's what happens in the July garden. So 
uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go back and I'm going to um, see if I can get the seven dust out and see if I can save these remaining cucumber plants. So I think I have lost this one. But I'm not going to give up on it, but I'm going to dust it good. So let's see what happens. So now I'm dusting the plant with the seven. And it's really important to get it in these little growing tips because that's where the bugs will go to hide. So here's the result of putting the seven powder out on all of these plants. And I even put them again on the base of these cucumbers because these cucumber plants are still growing. They're still free of the uh, fungus. So uh, they, the leaves, I've got to take more leaves off, uh, but anyway. Uh, there, here's one that's blooming this morning and so uh, these cucumber plants need a little love they're gonna get some fertilizer and I may get yet another crop off of these before they succumb to the heat and the blight but uh, anyway uh, this is what I did for the the new squash plants and this is what I did for the cucumber plant went ahead and put some on tomatoes just to be preventative the new tomatoes and of course I even went over here on the yellow melons that are starting to move out now and grow and uh, the, that's what I did with the seven dust this stuff uh, the label says it's only active for about three days and then it's gone you can harvest and eat fruit I usually don't like to put it on fruiting plants I'll put it on the base, but not up where the fruit is. So here is my okra row. You may remember just a few days ago, uh, these plants here were not looking too hot. So I gave them some 10-10-10 fertilizer. And if you notice, the color has picked back up very nicely in them. They've grown a lot. They're actually starting to bear okra. And uh, let's get to picking okra. So when they get this big, they still may be edible. But instead of pulling them off on a little plant like this, I want to cut them off. And you can cut that feeder leaf off because it's done its job. I want to go ahead and I can probably snap that one I did. And that's the first two okras I see. And once again, if you want to keep your okra producing, you've got to clean pick it. Now a little one like this, I'm going to leave it and let it grow another couple days. But I'm coming through here and this one is too big. I will end up throwing this one away. Go. now this one as compared to this one is not too big it'll slice up and fry you can tell when you're cutting them if the knife hits the fiber and it won't go through easily it's, it's just too hard it'll, it'll it won't taste good um, I'm gonna fry these because a lot of these are, are large and I've got a fried okra recipe that will make your tongue slap your brain and I'm going to do a video, I think, on the fried okra because a lot of people don't know how to fry it, right? So, 
to, to pick them, you, you get right below the base and you just snap them off when they're this size. This is basically the perfect size. So here's today's okra harvest. And um, it's, uh, you see all these right here? These are perfect for frying. I mean, some people don't believe it, but uh, this okra is not too big and hard to eat. Uh, a lot of varieties, if you had them this big, you have to throw them away. But this particular variety, I call this, as you can see, the red stem okra. And it's got red veins in the leaves, red stems. A man gave me these seeds over 30 years ago. And he knew I had a garden. He said, try these because they can get a foot long and you can still eat them. Well, I didn't believe him, but I planted them anyway, and I've been saving seeds and planting them ever since. If anyone knows exactly what variety of okra this is, uh, please leave it in the comments, and uh, I'd like to know. But uh, anyway, that's a little note on this okra. All right, let's move on to the peppers. So today, there's going to be a huge harvest of these peppers I uh, did a complete video which I'll link below on how to tie these peppers up and if you make a straight row and you'll stake them run a line through them that keeps them from falling over when they get loaded with fruit and as you can see these are now loaded with peppers these are the sweet Asian peppers and these are the bell peppers over here and so what I'm gonna do is put the camera down and go pick a few and then I'll pick them all and show them I got all those off of one plant and I'm gonna go, just go ahead and pick the peppers and then we'll see what we got so here's today's final pepper harvest uh, got a nice plate full of bells and we got two pans full of Asian sweet peppers and as you can see we've got the, the plants cleaned off the bottom now pretty well that'll keep them blooming and bearing and that's what you need to do and let's go find some sweet corn and some Korean corn so now we're looking into the silver queen corn and what we're looking for is a black corn silk sticking out and i see right there that looks pretty mature so i see one two three ears to check on there and i see one here to check on then i see some here that haven't matured yet they were a little later and uh, hopefully they're getting pollinated i I came through and hand pollinated. I've got a video on that. Uh, but anyway, let's check one of these ears and see just how uh, just how well this corn has done. And so the only ones we're interested in today are the ones that are black. So let's pull one and check on it. Now, corn plants usually will only make one good ear. And so, so let's open it up and take a look. Oh, yeah. Beautiful silver queen corn and there you go that's what we were after that's why we hand pollinated the only place that's not full is right down here so while we're out here let's check on the pumpkins and as you can see the little fellows in there are very busy um, so we are going to leave them alone and we're looking under this leaf and there is a big old pumpkin. Nice and green, still growing. We're gonna leave him half cover because they will sunburn in the sun. We'll walk over this way. And 
And here's another one. He's starting to get a little color. They're looking good. They're sitting up on some old wood chips, so I don't think the bugs are getting them. And uh, that's enough for the pumpkins. Wait a minute, I see one more as I go out. Oh, that's a nice one over here. And there you go. Another very nice pumpkin. That one's probably going to weigh 10 or 15 pounds. So that's what we're looking at with the pumpkins. And I believe that's it for the harvest today, folks. It's been quite a harvest. The garden is doing well. And it's at full production mode. If you enjoy video content like this, please like and subscribe. And we will see you on the next video.